want to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about YK Osiris and DJ Undone disrespecting Sukiyana. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. But also comment on this video. In this picture that you're seeing right now, you're seeing this young man, YK Osiris, grabbing Sukiyana and forcing himself to kiss her. In many circumstances, this will be accused of sexual assault. And basically, that's what he did. And you saw earlier DJ Undone verbally sexually assaulting Sukiyana. There are many of men out there who don't believe what these two men have done is assault because of the way Sukiyani presents herself to the public. She's a highly sexual young woman. She speaks highly sexual. She does highly sexual performances. We saw her being dog walked on the beach in Miami. So there are men out here today who believe if they were to meet Sukiyana or even come close to Sukiyana, that they possibly could grab her and do what the YK or Cyrus just did. This young man is totally wrong. He should be glad that she hasn't pressed charges against him. And this is the picture that the Me Too movement would love to show about how black men act. It doesn't matter how Sukiyana dresses. It doesn't matter how she presents herself. It doesn't matter what kind of music she sings. If she's on a pole, if she's an only fan, if she's an adult actress. You don't touch a woman like he just did. Keep your hands to yourself. She hasn't given you permission to come over there and try and stick your tongue down her throat. And even though she was on a show with Candy Burris, whatever the dungeon, that doesn't mean you have the right to say the things that her co-host said. To Sukiyana, she was extremely uncomfortable. Yes, Sukiyana has done things and said things, but that doesn't give you the permission. It doesn't give me the permission to do what they both done. They not only embarrassed themselves, they embarrass black men. Yes. This was done in the open. This was done like this is normal. That I can just come up to this woman and just take advantage of her. I invaded her space. And you can't do that. This is part of her performance. I don't know if this truly her in private. This is how she makes money. This is her act. No man has the right to do this. And look at the co-host on the side why he was doing this, why they were doing this uh, charitable bat. He was looking at the brother like, have you lost your damn mind? Because where there's a reaction, there will be a reaction. Now YK Osiris apologizes to Sukiyana for the way he acted. He acted like a savage, a young man that's out of control. And DJ Undone, he acted like a savage, a man out of control around this woman. Now, you don't have to respect her personally. And there are plenty of women out there who disagree with how Sukiyana acts. That's everybody's opinion. But as long as she's a woman, she has first personal space that should not be violated, violated for a man or a woman. 
would this man, YK Osiris, the DJ Undone, do this to a white woman who had to happen to be highly sexual? And she was on Candy Burris' show. I doubt it. I doubt it. But they seen that this was Sukiyana. A so uh, uh, what we would call adult actress, a porn adult actress who happened to be a rapper. No, you don't do this. And this may destroy YK Osiris's career. DJ Undone. Because nobody wants to be around men who verbally or physically assaults a woman. Who taught them to do this? What gave them the right to do this? YK Osiris is a complete damn fool. And now he's getting canceled for doing this childish behavior. Yes, they are going to say she provoked him. This is the way she dressed. This is the way she acts. That doesn't make any sense at all. You could be walking down the street. A woman could be damn near butt naked. That don't mean you go over there and touch her. Or grab on her. And that's what he did. And what DJ Anand did with his mouth. Was extremely disturbing. She went on there for an interview. She didn't think it was going to get as raunchy as it did. But he took it to a whole nother level. These two individuals embarrassed men in general. And don't tell me this is simp talking. You know how society perceives the black man. And you two knuckleheads went out there and did what the white pe white man wants you to do. Truly show them that you're savages, that you'll just grab on your black women in public. Not only humiliate them, but humiliate yourself. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight This Quick Take. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.